Yeah. Where you at, Yellow? Yellow, I might need you to comment again or something. I don't know how to request you. Where? Down here? Oh, I can just scroll up and find Mellow. Hold up. Hold on, Yellow. There you go. There you go. There you go. What is that? Ask his question. Woo! <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. 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 Man, I did not know that's what I was gonna see, my brother. <laughs> hey, you need a haircut too, child. I ain't never see you with your mustache like this. Bro. Hey, be cool. You did see me with a mustache like that in them State Farm commercials. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, oh. coming down over, it's like coming down over my lip. <laughs> oh, wee. That's uncomfortable, ma'am. I should be doing the same thing. It is. I know my nephew there. Let him let him, let him, him line you up. No, he, he ain't got no shirt on, man. He ain't getting no either. Cayenne, what's happening? He, walk, he, he walked around right the house with no shirt on. Yo, like. you hear me? <laughs> Put a shirt on. I'm, I'm sick of him. <laughs> what up, kid? Not a thing, my brother. I appreciate you coming on here, man. Of course, of course. Appreciate you coming on. Uh, talked to Megan Rapino earlier about her show Prodigy that she got going on. Talked to Steph just now about Benedict Man, man that he got going on. Love to talk to you about you ain't got these. And we know you got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Now nah, it's a you ain't got these is a is a is a show by uh by Lena Waite. Like she, you know, she she came to me and was like, yo, I need you, I need you down with this. Like I, I have to I have to get you on this project. And we just we we chopped it up in LA, we kicked it. It was a real like organic, natural, you know, natural conversation about just the sneaker culture, right? And and, and at the times where like what what changed the culture? Like the AJ1 changed the culture. Right, so we we was more talking about that, the Jordans in, in in Chicago when they when they come out, like what was what's on our feet, how people are just going crazy over different releases, sneakerheads, and so that's you know that's the gist of the actual show. I think, I think what was dope about the show too is a lot of people think that it's probably just a show just about like some shoes, like people walking up saying, "Yo, this this." This is a fresh pair of kicks or whatnot, but that's what was dope to me. That is literally about the sneaker culture. Well, the the sneakers, the the idea of when you think about it, you ain't got these, right? It's 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 right. like sounds like a competition, right? right? Actually, get into the show and then you start realizing, like, oh shit, this is real life conversation. This is about the culture and how much impact we have on the culture, on different cultures. So that's you know that was the kind of along the lines of that show, right? What was uh. What's what's dope about it being on Quibi? What you like about Quibi? It's quick. I, you know, I I think that the the, the episodes is quick, ten minutes episodes. You know, get right to it. You ain't got no time to be bullshitting around, and it, it keeps people for that ten minutes locked in, right? And it's it's great content, uh, great message. Uh, I, I was just happy to be a part of it, to be honest with you. And I think a show like this, it would have had to be like a long form documentary. But I think what Quibi gives, you know, the opportunity for people is to kind of play with filmmaking, play with creativity, uh, do something different, but in, in short form. Did you show uh did you show anything crazy on the show? Don't act like you ain't got nothing. No, I didn't ran a long time now. I didn't show a lot. I didn't I didn't show a lot of things. I, I talked about a lot of sneakers, but I didn't show them. I didn't show much. What you talk like? Just just give me give me no, I can't. You got to watch the show. I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I'm, what I'm talking about. You got too much stuff. That's the problem. It was it was special. Oh, it was it was special. special. It was special. It was special. What I told Man, so let me see. Let me see if they got any questions in these comments. I'm see. sure they do. I'm sure they do. I'm sure somebody trying to be a barber. Something like that. 
That's, ain't nobody touching my my face right now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yo, Steph said. Uh, Steph said he let his wife line him up and everything. No, nah, I comment. I told him chill out, relax. What you mean? Lie? Lie might be nice. Nice with what? Really? Like right. not with. Not, not, she won't be touching this. This she won't be touching this right here with no blade. Ah. <laughs> uh. Let me see. Um, man, I don't, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Let me see. I think there we go. Here was a question. It says, what advice do you have for young athletes that aren't able to finish their high school or college season? It's a really good question. That's a great question. I think it's, it's, it's sad. It's unfortunate. Uh, but I, I think we, we have to kind of get used to this new norm. Like, this is a new norm for us. Everybody's trying to scramble and figure out what to do. But – for young athletes, uh, I, I would just say, like, just we, we got to just stay busy at this at this point in time, right? And, and, and try not to try not to dwell on all the negativity that's out there. I know it's easy for me to say, don't worry about not finishing your last year or not, you know, in high school or college, because that's that that would be me bullshitting. Like, I would be lying to you. So I, I know how hard that is, but this is challenging for everybody. So we got to stay locked in. Even even high schoolers, you know, college college players, uh, we got to stay locked in. We 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 have to stay locked. In. We got to figure it out, and we got to take it day to day. You know, we also got to find ways to stay active and and stay um, like locked into what we want to do. Because all of this cloud that's over top of us right now, it's it's easily going to cloud out cloud our brains, our minds. <laughs> it's hard hey. to do it. I'm listening. I'm listening to you, man. But Dame, Dame in the comments being a fool. <laughs> I already know. I, 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 hey, Dame, relax. Ah, <laughs> uh, that just made me laugh for real. I can't say what he said, but he he need to go on somewhere with that. Hey, uh, a good a good question. I just seen though. Uh, shout out to Ray too. Ray Westbrook. I seen him in there. Uh, a real good question. Somebody said, "What's the first pair of shoes that you remember like owning?" Like. They was your, you know what I'm saying? Not them, not them hard bottoms. Moms put us on so that so that so that we learn how to walk. I'm saying that you remember that I remember the first pair of sneakers. Uh, <laughs> damn, like it was like I would have to say like the Larry Johnsons, like the the Grandma Moms. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I, I would have to say those was like I remember on Easter getting those joints. Like, I didn't care about nothing else. I just wanted those white. It was, like, white and, like, burgundy. I had those. So those was, those was like, the first pair. Yeah, I'm tough. You know what's crazy, man, is this the first time I never did this IG Live stuff, but people, like, putting questions in, and it's, even though we, like, talk all the time and stuff like that, they put in stuff that I don't think I even know or we would ever even talk about, right? So somebody just said a question. They said, uh, what is like the most memorable moment from when you started your career like from rookie year or whatever like what was the most memorable moment the most memorable moment uh <clears throat> or not like from the year i'm saying that something just sort of like all right i'm here i didn't i mean rookie rookie year like you know first first game like you running out there i remember first game we played against uh i think it was First game ever played against San Antonio, and I'm just I'm what I'm like, damn, like I'm about to Tim Duncan, like these they, they they you know they champions, like I'm like damn, I'm out here with them. Y'all got smacked. I'm, I had, I think I had like twelve or thirteen points, but I remember like yo, this is the hardest shit I ever had to do. Like this game is so hard, it's so different, and I just remember like man, I got to find a way to like I, I have to figure out how to be here, how to stay here. And I took that game, that San Antonio game, and I would watch it over and over and over again. Even when we play other teams, I would watch that game because yeah. it was at home. It was at home. It was it was open. It was open at night, and I just remember watching that game and the way that they guarded me. I'm like, I've never been guarded like this before. Is this what I got to get used to? Right. So I I used that game as kind of the example. So when I was playing against every other team, all other teams wasn't guarding like the way that San Antonio was guarded. So if I can be, if I can figure out how to, you know, beat that defense, then all other defenses wasn't, wasn't like that. That's killer. The one thing you ain't say is if y'all won or lost. 
I think we won that game. I mean, it's opening night in Denver. I mean, it's new. We we changed the uniforms. We changed the colors. The arena. We everything. We went from maroon. None of what you're talking about got to do with the game. <laughs> My point is, they had Tim Duncan and who else? They had the championship team. Right. We beat them. It's one eight out of eighty-two games, bro. We won. We beat them. Stop hating. <laughs> Why you hating on us? Cause we went out first game. I don't, cause I don't believe you. You need more people. I'm about we to won, check we that won, out. We won, we won that game. Uh, trying to think, what else? Let me see if we got any more any more questions. Get one more question. Hmm. I see, see a lot of. A lot of music questions on here. I know, right? You dropping an album or something? No, no, no. It's act inspiration. People ask, ask inspiration. Hold on. Hold on. Who said I'm about to have a hard beard? Nah, I'm going to cut at some point, even if I got to do it. This, I, know, I, ain't I, ain't really, I ain't really, I ain't really tripping off. You say anything, yellow? Yeah, I said I'm, I think I'm gonna just go with this whole look for for the whole summer. It sound good. That sound good. That ain't gonna work. Okay. Are you or how are you? Oh, question. Last question. Ice actually asked this question. He said, how are you staying uh, mentally prepared for the rest of the season? First of all, it's very hard. It's very hard due to just the unknown, right? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen. We don't know how it's going to happen. So that's the hard part is dealing with the unknown because you, you, you don't know how hard to go. You don't know how many days a week to go. Like, it's, it's just different ways and different things that you got to play with. But you also got to stay – on point, you got to stay sharp some type of way. So, I mean, we we didn't turn the house into a whole like a gym. I mean, we got we got bikes, we got uh, all the weights that you could, you know, all the kettlebells, dumbbells that you could imagine, uh, stretching machines, normal tech game. We got everything that you could possibly need here. So, I'm I've, I've been keeping up to speed with that. That's what's up. Well, listen, my brother, I appreciate you coming on here to talk about uh, You Ain't Got These, which, like we said, Quibi dropped today, launched today. Y'all be sure and go check out his episode. Absolutely, absolutely. Big shout out to Lena Wave, too. Lena Wave, big shout out to Lena Wave talking about the sneaker culture. My brother, I'm, I'm fine today, so five o'clock. What's in your glass? Five o'clock? Five p.m. Oh, my brother, five o'clock. Five, five p.m. All right, champ. All right, peace. All right, baby, peace. All right. Big shout out to uh, my brother Mello coming in, talking about his his show on Quibi um, with Lena Waits, his episode, uh, You Ain't Got These. So I think the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, hold on one second. Just one second. Be the last one. Make sure you. Yo, brother, you on? Just uh, hold on. Just tell him how to go. Hold on one second. We about to get uh, about to get our last last guest on. Um, it's kind of weird. You just sit here, huh? Let me see. I can answer some questions until he come in. Somebody says, CP, what is the owl piece? Um, oh, the owl, I mean, you can sort of see it or whatever. But uh, this owl right here is a Taurus, and that's, that's my son. This over here is a Leo. That's my daughter. In the middle, the waves represents my wife. She's an Aquarius. And at the bottom, the feet looks like a Roman numeral two. I don't know if you can see it. But that is a Gemini for my son. You know what I mean? So an owl symbolizes wisdom. So this is my crew. That's, that's what that is. 
that's what that is. Let me see. So, um, I go ahead and tell y'all, last but not least, um, the person that we got coming on is Cam Newton. Um, Cam, unbelievable quarterback. Um, just, I want you guys to hear about um, his show and his, his idea behind it. So, as soon as he gets logged on, we'll bring him in. Yeah, <clears throat> let me see. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. There we go. No, it didn't let me go live with him. Clicked on it. Live, live video. Pin. Why won't it let me go live with him? Clicked it. How long have been on? I'm down. 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 All right, let me go out. I'm going to go out and come right back in and see if it works. Hold on. Hold on, Ken. 